Well, today the president was shopper in chief. A surprise outing to the stores ahead of Christmas. Where did he go, guys? Best Buy. Do you wonder if he waits in line, Benny? No, he doesn't wait. Um, no, you'll have to wait your turn, sir. Anyway, here's another surprise. President Obama is also now being painted as the tax cutter in chief. Marketing expert Laura Reese says, while the president is shopping for gifts, the GOP has given him a gift that, that now is really just the best thing he could ask for. He's winning the payroll tax fight. What do you make of this? Well, this is this is a big score for Obama, and he's going to make the most of it if he can. I mean, he's not going to Hawaii. He's delaying his trip. My goodness, he's doing his own shopping. And the Republicans here are shooting themselves in the foot. Listen, for three years, they stand shoulder to shoulder and united against Obama and have done extremely well. Now they're letting it fall apart. Now they're going to be blamed for a January 1 middle class tax hike that people are not going to like, and they're going to be angry, and they're going to be angry at the Republicans. I wonder if they just... Yes, that is the Republicans, to, to, to sort of paraphrase a Wall Street Journal editorial today, yeah. just botch the optics on this. I know that's an overused phrase, but yeah. they wanted a one-year extension of this, uh, paid for. The president wanted a one-year extension of this, paid for, albeit different means of paying for it. They, the, yeah. So they settle on a two-month extension that was questionably paid for. Uh, Republicans in the Senate balk at that, and they come out looking like the evil guys. Sign me up for that PR game. Well, well, absolutely. It was a really ugly game of Washington political chicken. <laughs> you know, who's going to who's going to run first? And, and it's really a dangerous game to play, especially the Republicans going into this election year. Listen, you know, the, the primary and the ugly fighting there is not helping them either. They're slugging it out. The Republicans need to look like the United Party. They need to look like they can compromise. Then why Listen, can't they get in front of this and passed. say, get in front of this and say, just as you effectively did far more than the best of them i might point out and say yeah well Here's, no really I'm, I'm i'm complimenting you sincerely most of the times i'm never sincere but this time i am and and but the way you articulate it is exactly right look we didn't want to sign on to a half-assed two-month deal we didn't think that honored you that didn't honor taxpayers technically it'd be impossible to pull off so we thought the better part of valor was a one-year deal or we'd all look like idiots but they never said that well, yeah, Boehner, Boehner tried to say that, but that's a very difficult message to sell, especially as we're coming into the end of the year. It's There's not only a, a difficult message left. to sell. No, not a, it's a, this was half-assed, and this, our approach is not. That's how we should have said well, it. <laughs> well, again, I think a lot of it, remember, it has to do with a lot of those Tea Party uh, Republicans who are just refusing to compromise at all. And they're going in and saying, no, it's, you know, we're not going to do a two month. We're just going to hang out for the one year. But while that might be, you know, a high and mighty position to take, uh, it might hurt the Republicans if this deal doesn't go through. Listen, well, you January know, Laura, you're dead on right. Upon us. Because people can quibble over the details here. But the bottom line is that is the headline. And the headline is what it is. Mm -hmm. And as the Wall Street Journal pointed out, Game over in that event. But, Laura, great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Congress deadlocked. The tax cut looking dead. But the bigger threat to jobs could be the administration's move.